creation of television has not only helped everyone in the world with communication, entertainment, and other information on sciences, history, and math, making making the outlet to enjoy enjoy ourselves and inform ourselves. He even has made his way into the military with radar to help communicate and track enemies. And even even with a simple webcam and TV today, they can communicate with their families. Overall, the TV is an extremely flexible invention for everyone to enjoy and have it as a necessity for important info for armies and other organizations. It was not until 1900 where the first official name of television was created. It was during the Congressional meeting during the first International Congress of Electricity held in Paris, France. During this announcement from Konstantin Persky, a Russian scientist who was credited with the name of the television. Before Paul Nimco had an electric metal disc rotating calling it the electric telescope and it sent about 18 lines of resolution. Even before this discovery, Giovanni Caselli, an Italian physicist in 1862, prefer, produced the first still images through his own invention called the Pantelegraph. Also, Joseph Henry and Michael Faraday were the first recorded men in history to begin research on electric magnetism. The original cathode ray tube was created during this time, as well as Carl F Ferdinand Braun, Braun, who created a monitor in 1897 that was extremely bright with a black and white screen. In 1906, Lee the Force makes the vacuum tube an essential product of today's electronics. The same year, Boris Rosen combines Nipco's disc and the cathode ray tube together, and with this, he created the first working mechanical system. Later in 1923, Vladimir is walking his back at work patent in his ionoscope. It's based off of Campbell Swinton idea, ideas and is often called the electric eye. Another creation is the kinescope, which is the receiver of today. In 1924 and 1925, American scientists Charles Jenkins and John Baird, a Scottish scientist, began to transmit signals and images over a mechanical line, and John Baird was accredited to send the first moving images based off of the Nipco's disk system. Then, Vladimir Zorkin patents the first idea for color television. The year after, John Bear increased the lines of resolution to 30 and the frames per second in television to 5 every second. In 1927, it marked a huge leap in technology where the first long distance telecast from the U.S. Department of Commerce in Bell Telephone. The telecast went from New York City to Washington, D.C. The same year, Philo Farnsworth makes the first patent for the electronic television. He calls it the image dissector. In 1928, the first television station license to W3SK to Charles Jenkins. The Federal Radio Commission issues it. And later in 1929, Vladimir Zorkin demonstrates a new, more simplistic, and better picture quality with his new kinescope. And also in the same year, John Bear opened his first TV studio, but it has extremely low quality. In 1930, Charles Jenkins broadcast the first television commercial, and in England, the BBC begins to air daily. In 1936, about 200 televisions are known to be used worldwide. Coastal cables are created to transmit television, telephone, and data signals. The first lines to be used were laid out by AT&T between New York and Philadelphia. The original L1 cables could only handle up to 480 telephone conversations in one television program. In 1939, televisions were first shown off in San Francisco Golden Gate International Exposition in New York's World Fair. And RCA was the first television company to have a showcase, and Dumont, Dumont begins to make television during this time. In 1940, Peter Goldmark makes a color television with 343 lines of resolution. Later in 1941, the FCC releases the standard for black and white television. 1943, Vladimir Zorkin makes another CRT called the Orthocon. It was much improved and worked so well that it recorded outdoor events. In 1946, Peter Goldmark, while working for CBS, demonstrates the color TV he made with the wheel in front of the CRT. It was, re it was later replaced with an electronic set of color. Two years later, Cable television was first introduced in Pennsylvania and even rural areas of Pennsylvania. Lewis W. Parker patented, patented the first ideas for low-cost television in over one million homes during this time of television. In 1948, cable TV was introduced to Pennsylvania and even other rural areas. Lewis W. Parker patented the idea for a low-cost television 
By this time, there were over one million TVs in homes all across the U.S. In 1950, the FCC made standards for the color television and Vladimir Zorkin yet again improves the CRT with the Vidicon model. In 1956, Ampex creates the first broadcast able videotape system and the first remote was made by Zenith called the Space Commander. In 1960, during the presidential election between Nixon versus Kennedy, the first split broadcast is created and two years later AT&T starts Telestar, the first satellite for television. By 1967, most TV broadcasts are in color. By 1972, half the te television in the United States have color. In 1973, the projection screen television is first marketed. In 1976, the Sony Betamax is released in American markets. Later in 1981, NHK shows off the first primitive H HD TVs that has 1,125 lines of resolution. It was no surprise that the HD television came came around the market in 1998. It brought a brand new fresh fresh breath of air to the television industry, bring, ushering in a new era of televisions. The resolutions became much much more larger. Picture became more clear. Sound was just incredible, especially with the combination of Dolby Digital Surround Sound and THX.